Hello, in this problem, we find the equation of the tangent line to the curve at a given point. Now, first of all, let's talk about the equation of a line, which is in the point-slope form. So we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So that's the point slope form. Later on, I'm gonna at the very end, I'm gonna write the final answer in the form of y equals mx plus b. All right, what we are given is we're given a point, x1 is two, and y1 is equal to three. Now what we need is the slope, and the slope for a tangent line, not for all lines, but for the tangent line, the slope is equal to the derivative, which I'll write as f prime. Even though we don't see f here, I'll say that y is equal to f of x. So it's f prime at x1, which in this case is f prime of 2, because x1 is the first coordinate of the point. So we need to find the derivative, and then what we need to do is put in x equals 2 into that derivative formula. Now, for the derivative formula, I first need to, in order to find the derivative, I first need to express this function, which is y equals x plus 2 divided by x. I need to express that as a sum of powers of x. At this point in the book, in, the, in this section, we don't have the quotient rule. So we don't use the quotient rule for 2 divided by x. Moreover, even if you do have that quotient rule as your, one of your things that you, you can do, it's not an efficient way to do this problem. If you have a constant divided by x, it's better right to, to the x minus 1. It's just, you know, it's faster. So I'm going to say that that's in all situations better to do it this way rather than using the uh, quotient rule. So we have x plus 2 to the x minus 1 is the same as the function. Then we can use the power rule. The derivative of x is 1. Then we have plus 2. For x to the minus 1, we write negative 1, x to the minus 2. Now, there's talk about, you know, how, what should we expect for simplifying? Personally, I think writing x to the minus 2, leaving it that, okay. I mean, is okay in a lot of situations. But we, certainly, we should know that x to the minus 2 is 1 over x squared. Now, the slope, let me actually write the word slope to make it clear. The slope is m equals the derivative where I plug in 2. This notation of f prime is, has some advantages because I can actually show what number I'm putting in. You could also do it with y prime, but it, it sort of doesn't look quite as nice in some ways. But... Anyway, that's another topic. So um, I put in where I'm saying that y prime is f prime of x. I put in 2. And then it's a little bit up to me to, to make a mistake here that this is 2 divided by 2 squared. So that's the same as the thing as one, uh, 1 over 2. So, so our slope apparently is 1 half. Um, I didn't sketch the graph. I, don't, I think it would take me a little bit of work to sketch the graph. So it's not like a real quick... Uh, elementary function where I can sketch the graph quickly and sort of s see whether my slope of the tangent line makes sense. Because sometimes if it's a, you know, if you have a function that you can sketch the graph quickly, you can verify your, your answer for your slope and not really quite verify, but you can sort of see whether it's in the ballpark correct. Okay, again, y1 is the y-coordinate of, of the point where we're finding the tangent line, that's 3 for this problem. And then the slope is the derivative evaluated at the x-coordinate of the point, so it's evaluated at 2. Oh my gosh, after all this work, I better double check to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, it seems like it. So it's always good to just look one more time over things, but it's these little things that, you know, you can see are where mistakes can be made. Okay. 
So even you know right now this this simplifying here, which is you know more or less something you have in beginning algebra, can still possibly be sort of tricky. I wouldn't say tricky. One thing you just pay attention, which sometimes I don't. Sometimes my mind wanders on other things, but. Anyway, um, that seems to be the answer. That's the equation of the tangent line. Um, I went out of my way to write this as y equals mx in the y equals mx plus b form because that is a unique form for a line. So if I have this in the y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, that's a, that's a nice form to start with. But if you want to have a unique form, you can write it as I'm showing here. So that's the, the equation of the tangent line. And I'm not really writing a sentence here, am I? I'm just saying like a title or something. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't even write that. Um, oh, I'll make it into a sentence. Okay. All right. So uh, there we go. And let me sort of zoom out here so you can get the whole thing for, I don't know, whatever, a screenshot or something. But um, you can always check in the back of the book, see if the answer is right. It's an odd problem in Stuart Calculus, 8th edition, section 3-1, number 35. Okay. Thank you.